Hi everyone, welcome to another exciting episode, another edition of A Week in Geekdom here on YouTube. This time we are reviewing Mark Millar's Superior. This is a book that I have been wanting to review for a long time. It's, uh, it's a pretty interesting book. It's totally independent. It's not related to any uh, of the big two universes or whatever. This is a complete original story from Mark Millar where he does sort of this wish fulfillment uh, story about a kid named Simon that gets the opportunity of a lifetime when a monkey, yes, a monkey, presents himself as sort of this higher being and proposes that the character gets this uh, extraordinary wish granted onto him and he wishes to uh, be a superhero. Now what is unique about this character, uh, tragically he has MS, multiple sclerosis, and he is pretty much debilitated and can't do much without, uh, uh, you know, outside of his wheelchair or crutches. So it definitely strikes a chord with so many people that go through so much and, and wish to be able to enjoy life to the fullest before this disease uh, unfortunately affected them or if they were born with it uh, that sense of or that longing of wanting to be like everybody else but if I had to say something obviously I can't speak for uh, so many people that, that go through all of this but everybody's special and you're beautiful just the way you are and it's it, it's tragic and it sucks but uh, don't don't think yourself as, but don't think yourself as a lesser person for having uh, this disease. Just know that uh, you're awesome, just like everybody else. You are a wonderful person. So uh, the character of Simon, he is a fan of this character, this comic book character called Superior. They've made five movies out of this character and he uh, enjoys watching the movies with his best friend and all that stuff sort of like a real life scenario with us nerds uh, watching your favorite superhero movies and all that stuff it's really great it's really fun now when he gets now when he gets his wish he gets transformed into a real world version of superior of the superhero character he is able to do all the things that a superhero can do from super strength, flight, uh, heat, vision, or whatever, all that stuff. Now, yeah, you're going to look at this book and you're going to say, oh, it's, uh, I have the trade here. Oh, it's a ripoff of uh, Shazam and um, Superman and all that stuff. I wouldn't say that specifically. It's more of a tribute to Golden Age of Comics with... Uh, sort of kids wanting or aspiring to be something greater and to uh, carry out these values and do good in the world and I think it's one of Millar's sweetest works unfortunately one thing I don't like about it is the constant references to uh, pop culture at the time in 2013 when the book was first published with references to Afghanistan to Barack Obama and and uh, media at the time and it's very cringy when you read it so many years later that I wasn't really a fan of plus the fact that everybody has to swear in this book throws me off a little bit you don't really need to do a good superhero book or a good uh, action fantasy book uh, with so much cursing you can do a successful story without having to rely on characters being edgy and dropping f-bombs and, and shits and dams and everything else in between you can't do a cool stuff without it I just found it unnecessary now the one big highlight of this book is Lainey Francis Yu and his beautiful artwork I am a huge fan of Yu's art and uh, it's very distinct and if you've seen any of his work you're a fan from his marvel stuff and independent work the guy just uh does a killer job and he brings his a game to superior i think it's one of his best works 
the character framing and the uh, scenes and the backdrops and you see the villains and all that stuff. This scene, for example, with uh, Africa getting humanitarian aid because of Superior is breathtaking to look at. It is really wonderful. I absolutely loved the artwork in this book and it made me believe uh, it's sort of uh, that nostalgic part of my brain uh, as a kid that I wanted uh, superheroes to be real and I do want to see people be uh, more heroic and do good deeds and this book sort of reminded me of that and how much I want that in our current society that is so plagued and troubled with useless noise and everybody has to have an opinion on something and there's arguing and just uh, fights. We shouldn't really be fighting. We should be working together and, and doing good for others as we want uh, done to us and just uh, living out the best of our lives. We only get one go at this so why spend it angry, uh, upset and, and just uh, filled with hate? I'd rather be filled with love and admiration and respect and beauty at uh, my fellow brothers and sisters then spend my time arguing and just feeling so vile that I have to hate. Hate is such a powerful negative word. It, I, I really try to live my life with as less hate as possible if I, if I could say. I, I don't know. Uh, I just uh, I, I found inspiration in the fact that this book reminded me of that. Simon, of course, gets into all sorts of trouble when the source of his powers are revealed and it took a twist I was not expecting. I thought this was something else entirely. But at the end, uh, the story sort of reveals itself as a moral dilemma in how we sacrifice parts of ourselves for the greater good or for vanity and selfish reasons. It's that moral dilemma that I think uh, can resonate with people and present a solid good story. Now Mark Millar, I know he's a bit of a hit or miss with comic book fans, but for the most part I think he does a good job. Like I said, it's a very relatable story with a character that is suffering with a debilitating disease and he gets this golden opportunity, this wish fulfillment of becoming something greater and being healed and being able to walk normally again and of course flying and having all these awesome superpowers and being famous and being able to impact the world in a grandiose fashion. And I think Millard did a good job. Now, the, like I mentioned, the things I didn't like were the dialogue and the constant cringeworthy references that really bogged the book down a bit. Plus, the whole deal with the uh, nemesis or villain of the story and how it comes to fruition can be a little bit weird how it arrives on the scene, but overall it's really cool and just um, a really heartwarming story about uh, getting that golden opportunity, getting that golden ticket, if you will, and do, doing something amazing with it. Guys, also, it doesn't hurt that the art in it is superb. Guys, what did you think of Superior? What is your favorite Mark Millar work? I'm very interested in finding out. As always, thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing here at YouTube. Uh, thank you so much. You can also follow me on your favorite social media platform, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff. You guys are wonderful. I love every one of you. Hopefully, you have a great day, and I will catch you on our next episode. Bye.